Hello everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in, of course, Old World Blues playing as the Hangdog. So last time, we set ourselves up for pretty good times, but right now we are currently in a tiny, small war against what we would call the Legion. But right now we have some technology before we get to the comment of the day, or at least, you know, the main comment from yesterday. Oh, what do we want? We want that. More defense. Eh, that defense might be important right now. Let's do that one. So, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should or not, or which which one we should select in terms of the leader. The High Chief, the Elder, the Shaman, and the War Chief. So the bottom two that got the least amount of support were the, I think, War Chief, as well as the High Chief. So the Chiefs, while we like them, they're pretty cool people, and they do have some good benefits. It's between the Shaman and the Elder. So ultimately, I think we... Even though I would like to do Migration of the Tribes, I think we'll just go with Shaman for this campaign. Just because we do get more population, which we absolutely will need. As well as we get some more max organization because, well, we are quite tribal in technology. So I'll take any benefit that we can get right now. Now, this is still looking not too good, but we are doing okay here. We have quite a few veterans. And we do have a little bit of political power to spend. And we are mobilizing a little bit more, which is very nice. Uh, let's see, anything I can do here first. We do want some more stability, because 30% ain't very much at all. Holy cow. How about over here, though? We have no non-cord areas here. 3% uh, for supply consumption isn't great. Uh, that thing can wait. Military high command. A little disappointing, but whatever. Scoundrel. Uh, I might do that one. Good-natured might be the one we do, though. Mm, chases Che. Cool. Cool, cool. Anything down here? I mean, we already kind of check this out. Stability would be nice. I'm probably just going to go with Industrial Fixers. Or Freeman's Fixers, I should say. We're going to do that just because we're still trying to build ourselves up a little bit more down here. So, we should be able to hold okay. You better get your booty in there, son. Also, I did upgrade Lover Asp so he would have a ninja on him. So, we get a little more recon on our divisions. Because, you know, while one is great, 0.7 is better than 0.5. And then, under Cunning McMurphy, I did give him Smooth Talker so divisions can recover even faster. As they're on the move. So we should be able to hold out. Should be able to hold out. Oh god, that, that's... Okay, we should be able to hold out, yeah. Should be able to. Nice, nice, nice. Manpower is looking okay-ish. Oh, look. That seems a little early for Genta del Sol to go to war with the cowboy countries. I don't think we normally see them go to war with cowboy countries. This, this is a, No, it's not a unique focus for you. Okay. Cowboy countries? Is that a different flag than what I'm used to? Billy Clanton. That is a little different from what I'm used to. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. They do claim, so. Alright, whatever. So, we're doing so far okay. Maybe not great, but at least okay. So, we've lost about 1,000. 1,100 versus their 8,000. 8,500. Not bad. Not bad. And Lever Asp is doing okay. So, I do want to make sure that we do eventually have enough soldiers for the front line, as well as. Oh my goodness. All right, you gotta hold. No, 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 no! Don't lose on the door. Oh, yo, boy, oh boy! We're still not perfect here, as you can see. We're still not perfect, but I do want to make sure we get enough of a line against the Wither Ducks because they do have a unique focus tree, and they're now called the Captain's Dog, led by Captain Zhang King, which is kind of interesting. The Wither Dogs do have a unique focus tree, at least with the mod compilation too, and they did go with the Captain, so they are civilized. And they actually, see I did see and tagged over that they did go with the Old Dogs Aid, so they get more monthly population, division defense, a new ally, and they can do the People's Front. So the non aggression pact with Yampa, which is interesting to say the least. So, improvised obstructions, more soft attack, and more entrenchment, so we should probably never get pushed out. So, we can do Ancient Tactics, which looks good. Honestly, that looks pretty good. But for Dog City, I don't know, I don't think we would have, ooh, plus 10% defense and more entrenchment would be really great. Ghoul Infantry Platoon Combat with minus 0.2, that looks awesome. But then over here, more reinforce rate, more special forces capacity multiplier, more recon for like infantry, period, that is awesome. Get some of that, more breakthrough, more divi uh, division recovery rate, more soft attack, more max speed, and yeah, we kind of we kind of have to go with Wasteland Tactics. It doesn't make any sense for us as to why we wouldn't choose that, so. Flat cultivation is nice. We could grab that. I'm gonna grab more construction speed real quick. And then I'll grab some uh, other things too. Oh god, please, please, please. Oh. Alright, recover. This is why I gave it 10% more recovery rate, because we definitely need it. Is anyone retreating? Uh, you retreat and go that way. Good. Go and hold off for now. Th there's no way they can break us with, with that on, but we do need some medical 
chem stuff soon, too. Now, it does hurt our soldiers more, but that's okay. Alright, we got more of this. Stability. Resistance, resistance in occupied territories. Not too worrisome. Actually, I recap for the army might be worth doing. Yeah, let's go and do that one. Now, there was other comments that were recommended to me. For example, instead of going down this part of the land doctrine, we're doing asymmetric warfare, we should go down conventional warfare for more trooper warfare to get even more population, as well as more defense. Well, you know, I thought about it. I really did think about it. But you know what? Dog City. Denver. Basically, old Denver. If we worship dogs, we're probably going to use wasteland tactics. You know, asymmetric warfare stuff. That just makes sense in my mind. It just makes probably the most sense. Level level and seven. Seven. Oh, oh god, no, 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 Organization loss of moving goes up, oh, goes down. We got Nomad Warriors. What is we need to double check that one. Skirmish line, more max entrenchment. That'll be good. And then we'll probably do the shaman, more population, more max organization. Skirmish line. So, our tribal war bands are now proficient at skirmishing, allowing them to more effectively or efficiently supply themselves and defend themselves in an area, including a deadly line of defense. And I did say we want to check out that other little thing there. Ooh, let's see. Can we buy more guns? As a Mortress's associate, you can gain access to more supply lines. Oh, we, we have to wait a little bit first, that's fine. And we're out of guns, it looks like. Ooh. Or firearms, or weaponry. Can I actually throw anything on these guys? Besides dogs? Ooh, demo. That would be actually pretty beneficial, but we don't have time to research that right now. Uh, well, we could probably let time go on and be okay about things. What is Nomad technology buffs? Clan fighting styles. We got more soft attack, hard attack. We got less organization loss. Okay, minus 10%. That's not bad. It's not great, obviously, but it's not bad. Get your butts back in there. Good. We're going to probably lose at least 2,000. We've lost, we've killed 10,000. That's nice. Demo teams would be so helpful, but so will medical camp companies as well. There we go. Buy some more. We need it. Basic hygiene. Go ahead and do that. It's fine. I need more, some more stability. Stability is so good for just having a period. That's just so good. Oh my goodness. So I still level 3, level 7, level 4, level 3 defense, I mean. Uh, what's the map are these guys like? Uh, this is really pathetic of Kaisar. He can't beat a bunch of people who worship dogs. Look at all that manpower. Look at the industry. We have less than half of their industry, and we're still able to hold out. Pathetic. They're legionaries. Not too bad. But still, they're really pathetic. And that's the way we like them. Kaisar, Kaisar, Kaisar. So the goal is to beat Kaisar. What we're going to have to do... As we're gonna... Okay, at first I thought I said 10 over here, so... Uh, we have to wait for him to go to war with, like, Twisted... Twisted Mothers? No. Twin Mothers, Cowboy Country, Two Sons, Ranchers... We really have to get other people into the war against Kaisar, so we really gotta... Kinda, sorta. Have to speed things up here. Uh, civilian... Oh, I really don't want any civilian factories. We got more defense already. Awesome. Uh, we could do that stuff. I might just grab... I want to do that, too, but I said I'd do this earlier. This. We have to get some more medical camp stuff. And we are making plenty enough civilian uh, civilian stuff. I can't speak right now. I apologize. Support equipment. Support equipment is going to be incredibly important so we can keep our territory. Or at least manpower. Keep our manpower levels high. Okay, how much recon do you have? Still 0.7? That's not bad. I might get recon companies too because I love the dogs. The dogs give you extra recon on them. So that's why you get 0.5 already. So that's awesome, 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 awesome. And we're going to get over 1.7 political power a day. So that's pretty good. Skirmish line. Give us even more max entrenchment. Just awesome, awesome. We're no longer mobilizing, which is not good. Everyone's killing each other. Nice. Chief's guard. That's not bad. Uh, that's not bad. Attack at night plus 0.15. Okay. Faster duck production. Better breakthrough. That can wait. Healing power. That's not bad. Support equipment. That would be pretty good right now too. Uh, let's see. Warrior cult. More organization would actually be kind of good. Let's do that one. The warrior cult. From the very beginning of our tribe's life, we had had a cult of warriors dedicated to protecting the members of our tribe. They've had rigorous training and a life of experience. Absolutely. I almost never go every cap for the army, so it's kind of weird going down that direction. Ah, for now, we probably don't need these anymore, so keep building, building, building. And here, 
I really don't want to lower that at all. Mm, population, we can only get 19, 10% more of night for 19 isn't very much. Max planning, out of supply, supply consumption is fine. Down here, scoundrel. Hmm. We're gonna use this for the entire game, so we might as well do this now. It's fine. And it looks like we have enough infantry equipment, enough dogs, enough support equipment. It doesn't really look like they can really bust through our lines anymore. So, the trick. The trick. Well, not really the trick. Oh, level 5 now. The goal is just to hold out. That is the goal for now. Can I bait them into attacking me a little bit more? Probably can. Ooh, there you go. Head on down there. They still want to kill us over here, which is fine. It's becoming a desert fox, as was a hill leader. And you already have pretty much all the traits that you can possibly get. But yeah, I really don't trust people up here. So, the, the scope of the campaign. I do want your input for it, but my thoughts for this campaign is that we'll probably just restore the state of Colorado. If we expand a little bit more than just being in Colorado, so be it. I think it'll be okay. Iron Alliance is going kind of crazy. I kind of hope Iron Alliance does lose just because if you look at this focus tree, as we saw earlier, our new ally, uh, they don't really have any cores that they get on us if they go down that way, as far as we know. So, But Iron Alliance, oh, they have muscle. They might get cores on us because they do probably want to form Colorado. So I hope with their dogs or the Captain's dogs, or whatever it's called, does win. So let's grab some voice and intuition. Like if we get more recon, more recovery rate, and just more reinforce rate, which is awesome. Good, good. Oh, we can't go any further. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. I totally forgot about that. Uh, yeah. So, like I said in the last video, we're gonna research things. We're gonna research research a lot of things, but not very advanced things, which is okay. Which is okay. Ooh, we lost another. Some more manpower. That's not good. We're gonna have to raise cons conscription, or actually. I think next, I'll probably just go with recruitable population next. That's probably for the best. Because we're going to start running out of focuses. That gives us more manpower, even though we do have one down here. And just if our local sounds would be nice. This would be... Strength in numbers seems really, really interesting. When, uh... You already... Have lower combat width already. Oh, good. Thank God we got this. Nice. We could grab the next one, but we're going to probably grab even more recon. No, we can probably wait. Dynamite wouldn't be bad. Logistics, that's not really necessary. All this other stuff really isn't necessary right now either. I do want to get some planes. I think that'd be kind of fitting for us. Well, maybe not. Not really fitting. Dogs flying in planes. Do we have enough for this? Yes, we do. Good. And we probably have to make these guys 20 combat with eventually too. So, <sighs> we got to get more manpower. Focus on the eternal sphere. Go and do that. It's fine. Even though I really don't want to hurt this. More stability. Just, it's so worth it. For Colt. Good. Now look at that just a little bit. So, trouble pathfinders. One important part of our trouble warrior bands are the pathfinders, scouts who know the wasteland like the back of their hand. With these pathfinders making up our warrior bands, they are sure to be faster in most terrain. Now let's let time go on, and then let's double check this. Everyone's killing each other, which is a great thing. Resource efficiency gain. Nomads. Warrior cult. Ah, more organization is always good. That's what it was. Don't tell me they stopped attacking. Please don't tell me they stopped attacking. We gotta have them attack more and more and more and more. Come on, guys. Come on, just come on in. Two divisions. It's only two guys. I would love to be able to push into the Legion, but we probably can't. And we should probably get some Spec Ops soldiers. That'd be kind of fun. Get some Spec Ops. Uh, keep buying some more guns. We have the caps for for now. That's fine. Power walkers are gone. That'd be nice. Discourage traders. We could go with Distrust Outsiders, but we don't really need to do that right now. I've never actually switched to the NCR Dollar. I've never done that. Yeah, at this point, they can't really break us. We probably can't honestly break them either, which is fine, but whatever. So, updated equipment. Monthly population. I might do the monthly population thing here. Um, this is not bad, but we can wait. Robotic stuff. Let time go on first. Ballistics. It's not bad. Close air support. Fighters. I, uh, this isn't bad either, but we can only go so far with stuff. Yep, there's no more red. We have fully been able to hold out. Good. Not doing that. Not doing that either. Begin scavenging program. We might do that. Mobilize people. We will not do that. There goes the old country. Nice. Um, Good job, captains, dogs. Good job. We got plenty of infantry equipment, plenty of dogs, plenty of support equipment. Hmm. I would like to go to some war with someone else so we can start coring some more territory. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Huh. Oh, all we can get is gliders. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think for us, 
Laser weaponry or heavy melee? Oh, well, you have more defense. These guys have more soft attack. I'll probably go with heavy melee. You get way more breakthroughs. So let's do that one. Well, do this one. There you go. That'd be nice. If we gain more planes, that'd be nice as well. There you go. Make some planes. That'd be good for the defense. Trouble Pathfinders, good, good, good. And then Young Blood Combat Rituals, allowing even the very youngest of our tribe to engage in combat rituals will provide a greater base for our warrior bands and allow them to be much greater warriors in the future. Good, Pathfinders. Very good. All right, next up, Arms Lobbyist. Just go ahead and do good natured so we can get even more factories. This will be done soon. July 27th. Cool. All right, losses. Well, we've only we've taken 1,600. I'm glad we put the chems factories on. And now they're almost at 20,000. That's insane. That's really nuts. New Mexico highways, 50 to 57 divisions. They still have plenty of manpower. So, because this is looking pretty good, I do want them to bait them into attacking me more. I really don't want to fight these guys yet. I think it might be worth taking out these guys, even though that does open up another hole for us to get attacked from. If we go to war with these guys, we have to defend this side too, which we really can't. So, there you go. Verna Mutt Wow. Oh, we're out of manpower. That's not good. Mm. Life giver for now. That's fine. You can train. Not everyone else can say that, though. Come on, get down there quickly. Uh, 20. That's not a lot. <laughs> that's really not a lot. I don't want to raise this either. So, monthly population, planning speed. We got one more here. Arms lobbies, 5% really isn't worth it. Trade law, eh, base some growth, why not? Not bad. Basic tools. Land auction's coming along. Aerial warfare's okay. We can't even do that, which sucks. I'm um, just going to grab that one so we get the best and most benefit. Uh, the gang, less combat infantry. With. Yeah, we don't have any manpower. Uh, get through this first. Oh, even have upgrade level 8. Only level 8. Expert Hills Fighter. Sure, why not? Looking pretty good. Uh, Cutting McMurphy is 69%. Nice. Yeah, these guys are probably out of equipment, so it would be kind of a waste of time to have these guys try to attack. I'm going to pull you off, see if we can bait them a little bit more into attacking us. Good, you're still attacking us there. Oh, there's, oh finally they come. They come. I'm pulling you guys off too, so you get attacked a little bit more. We can bait them, you know. So I can start thinking about taking out these guys. Ah, oh, young blood combat rituals. Let's do our trouble reformation. Though our tribe has sustained for years of its own, its population has grown in mass, and war looms on every side of us. The tribe now, more than ever, requires a strong leader, more political power, more army XP. Even though we really don't need that much more XP, that's okay. Placate them, nah. Just grant them bases. I don't really care. I don't think anyone really cares about them too much. Going to buy some more if we need to, because we have plenty of caps for now. Nice. Support equipment's looking good. Dogs are looking good. And once we get enough manpower, hopefully we can hold it. And especially with level 2. Level 2 medical company thingy my bobs. We should do okay. Eh, you can begin scavenging program, why not? I've heard of civilian factories just a little bit, but that's okay. And we killed probably over 20,000. 22,000. 2260. Nice. Very nice. Next up. And we're doing pretty well. We're actually doing very, very well. This building technology, we're already done. So there's no point doing that one. Uh, stability would be nice, but we'll see what happens. Outposts. Infrastructure. We'll probably choose infrastructure. Demo research time. 10% isn't really worth it, though. Crowd control. That'd be, probably be worth it. Uh, let's come back over here and do demo first. Cool. Got a few planes in storage. Nice. All right, so we're doing pretty well down here. If we reduce it by one more, we might be do well still. Here, I don't want to reduce that one. Here, we can reduce by at least one more Pueblo band. Because these guys are all very strong. How strong are you all, though? Ah, the Joker's here. Stinger. Not that strong. Really not that strong. Wowzers. Music hygiene. Less research speed. So be I, that's not really good for us to do, but whatever. Mobilize people, sell outdated equipment. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're good, we good. I gotta choose something here. Planning speed's not bad. I don't mind monthly more population, though. 
3% supply reduction isn't worth it, probably. Let's go with Ghost Ant Eater. It's fine. Nice. Good. Those divisions, the more likely the enemy's base to attack. So basically, we gotta figure that one out and make sure we don't get nearly invaded, which they probably won't. And we'll do the Shaman. The Great Cleansing came about because of the people's lack of faith. We must not make the same mistake in installing the Holy Man, the Shaman, as our leader can help prevent this and bring enlightenment to our people. Oh, we get more non core manpower. That would be helpful as well. Still mobilizing. Good, good, good. Weapon production. That's not worth doing. How does the rest of the wasteland looking? Washington Brotherhood. Heaven's Gate looks pretty big. Marrow Drinkers look pretty big. Control Warren died. A Royal's looking pretty nice. They're probably going to get taken by the Western Brotherhood eventually. The She is looking pretty thick, though. And they are at war with the Western Brotherhood of Steel. So that's not bad. Uh, logistics we'll probably use. Uh, Anti-tank we might have to use as well. I'm thinking to get more recon. Even more recon. Because I love, love, love recon. It's probably too much. Oh, how about this stuff? Yeah, research speed. That's pretty that's pretty helpful. Uh, down here. I hate being limited by what we can choose and what we can't. I don't have my political power gain right now, so we're not going to do that. Over here, Oracle. Planning speed's not bad. I like the attack, but... You know what? Let's go with more planning. Lever bingo. I almost never do stuff with planning. But planning can be extremely beneficial. Back in the old days, when in Hearts of Iron 4, like Vanilla, or just not Old World Blues, but other, like, mods to Kaiserreich, Road to 56... The Grand Battle Plan was an extremely, or very, at least a very good doctrine because of the planning bonuses that you got. They were very good. Very, 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 very good. Nice. They keep attacking us, which is fine with me. Send them that way. Let's start justifying on these guys. Because if we do go to war with them, we got to cover that hole very quickly. Now, this will hurt us a little bit. Because we need to make sure that we have... These guys, too. And we probably will need some crowd control here. So. Uh, the gang's all here. Nice. Come over here and grab animal observations for even more breakthrough. That's good stuff. Oh, Washington Brother could declare war on Evans Gate. Cool. We're probably done mobilizing. Yes, we are. Dynamite will be good. Let's go and grab level two. We're going to grab some mm, flamethrowers. I think flamethrowers will work well for the dogs. You know, what if we had dogs with flamethrowers? Now, that would be kind of wild. We already have a little bit of dynamite. The Reclamation Authority. Very cool. Have we, they beaten us back anywhere? Not really. We lost about 1,700 versus 28,000. Just so many guys. Uh, we could buy some more infantry equipment, but uh, we're pretty good. Yeah, we almost have 5,000 pieces. Now we have 5,000 pieces. Not bad. That's a case. Do good. Do good, too. You do that. You come down here. Come on. Here we go. Nice. How much demo equipment do they need? Because we don't have a ton of manpower left. The Shaman, good. They need 15 each, which we won't have enough. But that will increase our defense by 2. A little more breakthrough. A little bit more soft attack, which is nice. For religious purposes next. The Shaman has declared a holy war. The heathens of the world must be saved from their own ignorance and stupidity, and the destiny imposed on us is to bring the light to them. Young, hot-blooded men flock to join the wool band. So it's actually kind of unfortunate for us that uh, Captain's Dogs took out everyone around here. That really sucks, actually, just because, well, we want to go to war with them. We're going to have one massive front here, and then another front over here as we're defending against the Legion. Which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Uh, prospectors, we lose 50 caps. That's not bad. We'll see what happens. Mobilize the people. No. No. Mm -hmm. Major businesses. Go ahead. Just do infrastructure, probably. That'd probably be okay. And then we might change this one to Wasteland Survival Training. Follow oh, there goes Heaven's Gate. Wow. Looks like they ran out of steam. Steel Rangers joined the Western Brotherhood of Steel. Cool. Uh, we'll probably go over here so we get faster to justify war goals times. More division organization. Military academy training is not bad to do. 1.89. We do. We could use some more stability. Militarized society. Less weekly stability for more war support. But, eh. We're kind of okay. Why are we losing it? War heroes being killed. Well, that's never a good thing. Usually not a good thing. Cool. Mm, I probably will go with outsider battalions. More non-core manpower. Resistance target does go up. We do, do lose a little bit of stability, but that's okay. Uh, go and grab this first level so we get even more organization first. Good. Throw them over here. It's fine. Just a constant attacks, but oh my god, look at all these veterans. It's for you. You're not a veteran. And you. Makes sense, I guess. What if I told you to leave? You're not no longer entrenched. They still don't care. 
Even though it's not even a land tile. Alright, it's not even a... It's, it is a land tile. They're directly connected there. That's a little crazy. Grab your territory was annexed. We could probably sell some guns for more caps back. That's fine. And we're full on that. Nice. We got 30 factories. Not bad, not bad. Hey, we got a full 15. Not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. They've taken how many losses? 33,000? Not enough. Never enough. Energy cell game boost. That is weird. They've only 8 to 10,000 more manpower. Actually, we don't even know what they're doing. Follow to establish themselves. Oh, they were luring my war support. You pieces of garbage. Whatever. The gods in the cave, the whole tribe, in particular the zealous warbands, answer to our god. They know not to question their orders, as their orders come from the gods themselves. Peculiarly, the gods only seem to communi communicate with the shaman. We get more organization, which would be great. And when do we change our flag? Flamethrowers? Yes, please. Please, 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 please. Hmm. We could do more stuff there. Resource-wise, we're doing okay. Energy still gain. We might as well do that first for now. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yakuza oh, Yakuza Detroit's actually died. Good. That's a great thing. Promise of loot. Less organization, more weekly, worse support. Oh, that might be worth doing. I really don't want to do this, but let's do it anyways. And since we're hurting ourselves anyways, get less organization for now. Vacuum tubes. Nice. Radio's done. Because I do want to use some planes. We're still mobilizing? Yes, we are. So let's get some planes going. It's not much. But they're honest gliders. Good. Hang out for now? Okay, whatever. 1v1. These guys don't look super strong. They do have some demo equipment, but we should have some demo equipment too very soon. Only 271. That's not good enough. Yeah, we come over here. That's still not enough. Eventually it will be. Oh, we need more manpower. I really don't want to go down here, able-bodied tribesmen, just because it's going to actually hurt us. We would actually end up getting minus 35% monthly population, minus 20% construction speed, and minus 7.5% research speed because of well, the change in bonuses. I really don't want to change that. 11%. We're almost done mobilizing again, which is not good. Hey, we're going to war now. We really wanted to. Animal observations. Okay, nothing was found. Well, whatever. Alright, I'll do this. More recovery rate. Let's add supply and resistance growth speed in our states. Talked about them. Night Stalker tactics. Come on, keep going. Uh, oh, with these guys, we can actually help settlements. Yes, please. Which is actually not bad for us, since we have so much, or, or quite a good amount of political power. We only get 21 people a month, which is fine. But, yeah, that's not bad. And we can help with research speed. Obviously, there's only gonna, there's gonna be a certain limit to where how much research we can do, but that's okay. Yeah, I might just get re, just recon, just because we can use more. I mean, yeah, we have nine and a half, which actually might be good enough. No, demo equipment. God, I need demo equipment. Go. But instead of demo equipment. Oh, we can actually use warhounds? Huh. Same defense. Double the breakthrough of infantry. Soft attack. It's better. This is a better heart attack. You get two recon instead of one. More suppression. Uh, you lose a, just a little bit of organization, but you only get 0. 0.7 here. 25 more HP. 20. Overall, this seems... You get even more reliability. Wait, why would you get plus 8.3%? Uh, oh, wait, that goes up by... Hold on. 16.2. Um, can I throw on... Would that really be 20? Is that really 20? I can throw on another battalion of infantry as well as this? No, that can't be right. Can that? Because this is the current division we have right now. Is that literally just two and this is like point something? I never use warhounds. Because if I do two warhounds, that's going to be too much. If I remove this, it goes up to point four. Yeah, I don't want to lose too much organization either, so... Is that... Well, if it was going to be bigger than 20... You know what? I never use Warhounds. That's awesome. Do we have enough equipment? We don't have enough dogs. That's not good. Go ahead and do that, though. That is awesome. That is really awesome. I love using Hounds. Go ahead and do that. We're, we're just going to need them. Uh, put you at the top since we need you immediately. Oh, we're going to need more equipment. Okay. 
And we're out of manpower. Okay. Well, don't buy more guns. Yeah, we definitely go need more up. Oh, there goes Heaven's Gate. Uh, manpower. Oh, don't want to do that. Good, 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 good. Go and do that too. We still mobilizing? Yes, just a little bit. Nice, the guys in the cave. Good. Guys in the cave. Good. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so we're pretty much sort of out of the ability for us to get more manpower except to get down here, so we're gonna go that way. Where are the spirits? The spirits speak to our elders and reveal great secrets to them. Some say it's just radiation poisoning from nuclear waste nearby, which I did read yesterday, but whatever. I really, really don't want to increase this. Because I love that population. Extra population is just great to have. And we have a special project going on as well. Five, which sucks. But where are we? Build us up pretty quickly, which is good. Lost about 2,000, not quite. Well, we're getting there. 39,000, not enough. Obviously, never enough. Oh, and we go to war by when? March 14th. We should be able to do pretty well when we go to war with an agent. Enemy turned. And another one captured. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was going to ask you guys later, but what should we call our intelligence agency? For the hangdogs, what do you think would be an appropriate name? And obviously, not this. This, this looks kind of like a dog. Uh, that's kind of a lion. Eagles, kind of cool. Uh, that's close enough to a dog, so we'll go with that one. Since we're using our civilian factories anyways. Might as well use them, right? June 17th, that's fine. Word of the Spirit. Oh god, we're no longer mobilizing, which is not good. Let's not go to war until we get more man power, political power. Oh, that's not good. Now, we should be able to do pretty well here. We might wait, though. Yeah, we can always reach us fight later on. I do not want to attack. If we have no political power or manpower. Uh, honestly, in this place over here, really almost has like no extra manpower. Oh boy, manpower. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. That's unfortunate. Go ahead, go ahead, medium. That's fine. Yeah, look at that division. Oh, they nearly killed themselves. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I really, really, really don't. Oh, Crimson and Acolytes. Cool. Really don't want to raise this. I'm gonna have to, though. I'm gonna have to. Part standardization, cool. Gives more resource efficiency gain. Primitive radio, Office of Strategic Services, nice. 15, now that's beautiful. And we can make more military factories now, too. We get 3% more recruitable population, which is an unfortunately good thing. Mm, resource efficiency gain. Anything else that could help us immediately? Yeah, we could have gotten more manpower going conventional warfare, but that's, that's a little too conventional for my tastes right now. Good. Keep draining them of the resources. They have less than a thousand manpower. They have potentially tripled, but at least more than double our divisions, which is good. Trouble war paint. We can use war paint on our warriors to intimidate and scare our enemies, causing our war band to be more proficient in breaking enemy lines and morale. Oh, that breakthrough! Yeah, I should have waited to justify justify on these guys because that's really good. So outdated. Just going to buy some more just in case. We have enough caps for now. Oh, we have more than enough. Oh. Okay, but we need more dogs still. And that's okay. Yeah, we need more dogs. Go and do that. We have enough planes for now. At least for that one group. Good. Basic hygiene would be good as well. More stability. A good amount of war support. 21 people a month. Not bad. Really not bad at all. Should we first? That's going to take forever to get. Hey, look. We can maybe get a spy. Blue... Infiltration risk. Oh, Centurion Fulvius. Double agent. Rescue operative risk. Well, as much as I like that. Oh, rescue. I'm gonna do blue. Why not? Help defend. So we don't get found out and we can spy on the enemies. Now, I really don't want to attack any the Legion too much because look at all the territory we're gonna have to guard. That's so much. Nice stalker tactics. And then we'll get this for more max speed and soft attack with Cazador Venom. I hate Cazadors. Oh my goodness. Such garbage. 20 combat wood. That's amazing. Put him on medium. That's good. Hey, a little bit more manpower. Great. And soon enough, we will have that extra breakthrough. So we might just just fight again. Go and do that because we're, we're going to need to make some of these guys. Even though we already don't have enough of everything else. That's okay. There you go. We're going to keep the dogs on, though. All right. We don't want these guys to get too strong, though they don't have a ton of manpower, which is good. Do that. Now we have to wait a little bit longer. So be it. Whatever. It is what it is. 
Uh, resource efficiency gains always good to grab. 1.82. Set up manual prospectors. We could. Follower A. We don't need to do that. Water's fine. Building slots probably are okay for now as well. And it looks like they've kind of stopped attacking us because they're out of actually, actually, actually out of manpower. I told half you guys to leave. Yeah, they're still attacking us right there, which is nice. Come on. You guys can kill this one division off, right? Up two divisions. Kill that division off. Come on, guys. Pull you away. Drop a war paint. Very nice. More breakthrough. And lower infantry combat width again. The more warriors we can send into battle, the greater chance we have at defeating our enemies. We must adapt our doctrine for this, allowing more of our warriors to attack at once. That's actually pretty nice that we don't get attacked in the butt for now. That's why I want to kill these guys off quickly. 490, not bad. If you dismantle this, you should be able to... Oh, you actually do get minus 5% consumer goods. That's actually not too bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Good, we got four going. Awesome, September 1st is much better than January 1st. July 7th, less than a month, which is still not bad. Look at all those bonuses we get. Oh, we got personal slaves. We have a builder legend. We have discouraged traders. Not bad at all. Level 8 still, not bad, not bad. Ooh, you're kind of injured. Uh, you could use a little bit more experience. Oh, level 6 here, eh? Beloved leader, I don't want to hurt my defense at all. More attack, more defense. Local leader would be kind of a waste here. Heavyweight. Light touch, infantry attack, and defense. We're going to go with Cutting Desert Fox, though. Because that's always good to get. So for us here, what we're going to do is go there and there and attack these two as well. Encircle, destroy these divisions, make it easy. You know, like the good stuff. Additional plating, good stuff. Good, 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 good. We could grab this stuff, but it's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some more breakthrough. That'd be good immediately. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this as well, probably. Outside our auxiliaries, so this way we can get more daily compliance, especially once we take this group over. I think that probably is the most important thing to do. Get compliance as fast as possible. Reduce the amount of uh, things that we need. The manpower, the garrisons, because we have less than a thousand population. Oh, look at that. That looks really nice. Good, good. Once this factory is made, then we'll make another one, because I want to keep doing civilian factories. Civilian factories are so good to get, use and get. There we go. Still five. It's going to take until November, which is fine. That's going to take until September, which is okay. Not great, but it's okay. Still attacking, huh? Move over there. Three. At this point, I might even. I might feel a little more cocky and move those guys over. I might move these guys over, maybe. Good. And are you still out of manpower? They should be, yes. Yep, they're still out of manpower. We've drained them completely. Just. Just nuts. I guess they to go to war with anyone else, they have to go to war. They have to finish the war with me, which is not going to happen, obviously. Strength in numbers and hardened by the wasteland. Excessive experience in the wasteland has hardened our warriors and our people. Many more of our people, accustomed to the dangers of the wastes, join our war band every single day, which is a great thing. Uh, send out many prospectors. I want to save some caps first for now. Current weapon production. Uh, eh, so, that's okay. Get some caps, because we have enough guns for now, right? Yeah, oh god, we got 7,000. Which is nice. Infantry equipment 2. We can wait. We don't need slashing melee weaponry for now. Or not anymore, really. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this cool. Buffs. I love having lots of buffs. Sun God, Strength in Numbers. Ooh, breakthrough plus 15%. Honestly, this is looking pretty good. I would like to make more divisions. Riders, thank you. Dogs, good. Uh, upgrades. Just make one. We don't need that much more for now, but we will need to save that manpower. For now, agricultural experts. Non-core manpower is pretty much going to be a mandatory thing here. We have to grab that. By throwing more divisions over here and getting attacked, it's not too bad. Really not too bad. Two, 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 two. As they attack with the full 16 divisions there, that's not good for us. We just got more soft attack and max speed. And now we're going to grab Deathclaw Ferocities for more Special Forces Capacity Multiplier. More Leg Infantry Breakthrough and Hard Attack, which is awesome. I just wish they attacked my line a little bit more. Because I'm not attacking them. There's no way I'm going to attack them. Let's see what you can do. Alright, they're still not attacking us. What if we just had one division here? There we go. Work camps. I love work camps. We honestly probably don't need this yet. But that's okay. Cool. Let's have a good time. By good time, I mean get rid of these guys. Actually, that's not bad. Let's do a small encirclement first, that's fine. Uh, make sure we don't get injured or anything like that. Do we got planes in the air? We do have gliders. 
Uh, Legion operative captured. Cool. Can we pierce them? No, we can't, actually. Kind of sucks. That's okay. We've lost a few guys. Come on, you guys got this. It's us a spec ops division, that's all. And make sure you come here, too. Nice! We lost how many guys of them? Six versus 39. Their armor does nothing. Help them out, and then help them out. The first division shall be gone. Cool. Promise of loot. We could use more war support. Let's do that. Cool. And the first area we have to garrison. Not yet. Pardon by the way. Oh, we're led by Red Cam. Cam, the shaman. Pardon by the way, so I'm good. Alright, up next. Where's a good place to attack? I'm going to go ahead and shift you down south to here. Come down south. Come over here. We'll probably break through here, maybe. Go there. Let's do that, yeah. There you go. And we'll attack this tile, too. Now hold on, son. Now hold on. We could take the junction, but I don't think that's going to be enough for us to actually do anything about that there. Hey, you guys have been encircled. There you go. Slowly getting rid of their divisions. I just want to make sure we save enough manpower for everything. Harden by the west end. Great, even more manpower. Justify war goals times. That's not bad. Travel unification is probably next up, though. Guns. Attack at night. It's not bad. Hounds. More breakthrough. That would be really good. But let's go down this way. Travel unification. Our tribe contains people of different clans and creeds, and one may contain, uh, may one day contain, peoples of very different tribes. It's important to instill a sense of tribal unification to keep them under heel. Good. We've only lost seven versus 400. Not bad. We could take the junction, like I said, but I don't think that's going to be uh, enough to capitulate them. It could be. Very mel, very mel, very might well could be, but we'll see what happens. I want to circle at least one more division before we do anything else. Maybe, maybe not. Come there. Does that scare them? Come there. Does that scare them at all? Either? No? Uh, then you guys come over here and then maybe just take the capital? Please don't let them move. Oh, well. Um... And we just took the capital. Is that going to be enough to capitulate them? Probably not. It is not. Which is fine. If that's the case, you're going to make a break for that. Cut everyone else from the top out. Cut them out. Good! You're actually helping me with the line. I don't. I want to save this area for last. Hey, we just got encircled. But not really, because we're going to go that way. And we're going to help them out here, too. Good! Beat them up. Teach them a lesson. Take Lamar. We can't do anything. Uh, you know what? Just come down here. Let's circle these divisions. Cool. Go. Everyone go. Uh, I don't want to take that just yet. we got to have enough divisions around here to do that. Okay, you guys are completely cut off, which is awesome. And we will end the episode with us doing really well down here. Uh, I need you back here. Yeah, definitely get back here. I'm going to have all four of you guys stay here. Good. Oh, good, good. Up there, that's fine. Um, I'm going to have you two come here. You two come here. I want you two to come here, but really just you come up to the warband area. That's a goal. Good, get rid of them. And we have opened up a new front against the Legion. Hopefully they don't navel invade us, which they could. Vegas is having a problem, which is fine. Yeah, you, yeah, you guys can't move, I'm sorry. As much as you would want to move. This is a little brand new front against the Legion, and we can't really afford any new fronts like that. Sorry, not really sorry. We've lost about 68 guys. That's actually not bad. We lost 68 guys. We're probably going to take more hits in resistance than anything else. So, uh, basic hygiene... Fine, do that. Actually, and then we can do eh, technology to help us out as well to minimize that you know, damage. And that's not bad. 54 caravan guards. Now we're gonna go with Wayland. 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 Pathification. We don't have quite the numbers for riders yet. We need a hundred-ish, and we don't have that yet. So not bad. Let everyone come down here. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, crap. I did not realize this. Kind of still doing okay down there. I'm not sure why you didn't switch over yet. That's okay. I don't want to invade, so that means we have to garrison more tiles down here. 
I really don't want to do that. So here's what we're going to do. Four divisions, come back here. But you guys stay down here. Uh, you four stay here. Because I don't want to garrison that stuff. Because my plan is to take out all of Colorado first, and then maybe the Legion, maybe. We'll see what happens. Cool, but I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow after you tell me what our intelligence agency name should be. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.